I like entertainers and I love talented people. One of them was here last year, but he was so talkative that half hour of the show wasn't enough for him. After all, that has happened to many of guests on this show. So I brought him back so we can finish what we started. The Via Mia show is sponsored by the following people. Recording, rehearsal space, voiceovers, video editing in New Westminster. For more information, fiascobros.com. Cuts and colors in Uptown New Westminster. We welcome our stylist, George of Salon Caliente. For appointment, call 604-544-5104. Private investigations, security and alarm systems since 1972. For more information, call 604-251-2121. Makeup services for television, movie, and photo shoots. For more information, visit victoriawan.com. The show so colorful last time uh, with all the chats we had and uh, his experience and even live performance. No, we are not going to be repeating any of those uh, because, well, what's the point? Uh, we'd like to see something new. I would like to again introduce Tony Chris, the paranormal entertainer. Thank Hello, you. Chris, again. Can you imagine? It was almost a year. Uh, so, where were we? Where did we leave off? <laughs> yes. Oh wow, that's a great question. We, we were having fun. I yeah, it's, there was a, there's a lot of things we talked about your um, your performances. We we did some demonstrations. So there was brief recap. I know we almost lost your last performance because we had so much to talk about, but we did still do it anyway. Yep. So we have a couple things you I would like to show you to show us today. Oh, absolutely, It'd be my um, pleasure. You know, I'd like to know uh, since. I've seen you last time. How you been doing? What's new and in terms of your uh, professional life? Oh, well, thanks for asking and thank you for having me back. I'm not only a big fan, as you know, but uh, I also like to follow your career too, your musicianship. I, 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 that's really nice. I see your comments and promotion promotion on Facebook. You're one of very good promoters on that social oh, media, I have to well, say that. Thank you. Um, well, where do we leave off? Um, still doing what I do, the paranormal experience, which is uh, just a, a mix of one part magic, one part mentalism, one part spiritual uh, endeavors, and rolling it into a, a ball of entertainment is what it is. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that people realize uh, it is entertainment. It's not supposed to be anything beyond that, because I do have a problem with people who, who perpetuate uh, the paranormal world and use it to their advantage for monetary gain and that sort of thing and claim certain things might be real when they're not. Yeah. And I remember you, you explained this last time, but I still would like you to briefly uh, uh, repeat this because there are, are um, people have different ideas. Uh, mental is comparing mind readers. Right, right. So. It's, a, it's a touchy subject, you know, because there are uh, people who, who build themselves as mind readers and it depends on how you want to accept that as a connotation, mind readers. To me, a mind reader is someone who will read what's in your thoughts. That simple, without any kind of um, surgery. Input. <laughs> yeah, without any, yes, any kind of alien abduction or <laughs> surgery or... <laughs> I always wondered about that, you know? Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, some people build themselves as that and of course it is, it's really um, the capacity of mentalism which is an offshoot or an allied art of magic. It still all comes down to the performance art of prestidigitation which just means magic is what it is. Okay. Um, but in terms of mind reading, um, I've never billed myself as a mind reader even when I do um, events where I'm hired to be a psychic entertainer. Uh, I hate that word psychic even. Mm -hmm. I prefer to be uh, called a, a in, Intuitive uh, virtuist or something. We all have it's intuition. Is this because that word people people are skeptic about? Not only are they skeptic about it, Hollywood, the movies, have perpetuated this thing about 
uh, psychics being able to have these amazing powers where they can foretell your future and uh, you know, I have issues with that mm -hmm. because I don't believe anyone can foretell someone's future in that sense. Uh, although some it's, people make a very good living I, at it. So. <laughs> well, if I if I think about it, it's like more analyze it. I would probably think the way. That's why I try not to analyze. If somebody right. tells me psychic, you're psychic, and I'm done there. Right. So because really, I think the same way like you do, and the same uh, mind readers. Well. You, you call yourself mentalist? Yes, for the and most you, part, yes. And you already explained that. You know, Tony, how are you doing these days when everybody is trying to reach for the moon? You know, uh, we all are trying to promote ourselves and use those social media sites and make, uh, make ourselves yeah. uh, visible. How your industry, how is your industry doing? Um, locally, there is an enormous amount of entertainers in this town, as you know, and not, not just magicians or mentalists, uh, jugglers, musicians, uh, acrobats. Vancouver is this mecca of art. And so it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big world of entertainment, but there's also a lot of people in it. So you have to kind of stake your own ground. What about the opportunities? The opportunities are there, but I'm finding more and more you have to create them now yourself. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, uh, I remember when I started 20 years ago, before the internet, before websites, it was Yellow Pages ads. Remember the Yellow Pages? Nobody really uses them anymore for this kind no. of... Uh, uh, to be honest, when ours come to the door, they go straight into recycling. I can't remember the last time I opened up a Yellow Pages book because we live in the world of technology and everything is at the, you know, the touch of a button on your keyboard to mm -hmm. find anything you want, including entertainment. Yeah. So you really have to market yourself with, um, I, I guess, a really good website, for, for starters, mm -hmm. helps. But you have to be savvy in, like you said, uh, marketing yourself off of Facebook and, and Twitter and any kind of media that you can use. You have to utilize it now it's to your advantage. It's a full-time job. Yeah, it is. It you is. could easily spend, and I don't, I probably should, uh, I could easily spend, you know, four to five hours a day just doing that. Yeah. But inherently, I'm quite lazy, so mm -hmm. I don't. I wish I did because um, I'd be working a lot more. Yeah, well, that's why we have you here because we, we have to discuss more than, than we, we wanted last time. Like, for example, I think it would be time for, for any of your magic showing, sure. demonstrating. Sure. Last time I did some more uh, more traditional mentalism magic. This this time I'd like to do some more of the paranormal experience with okay. you. Because I've gotten to know you uh, quite a bit in the last uh, like, little while. And I, I respect the fact that you're extremely artistic and um, you're a very uh, creative person. So I like I like when I have art artistic creative people in my audience. Good. It's just funner for and, me. And uh, like I asked, we didn't discuss it because I don't. I like to be surprised. I'm yes. not a good actor. Yeah. I can't just do things yay if I already seen it. Yes. So, so let's I see something. I appreciate that too. And I, yes. Because uh, it's much funner and spontaneous if you don't mm -hmm. know what to expect. So okay. let's have a little I'm bit of fun. Um, let's let's start with a little journey into the realm of tarot. Have you ever had your tarot cards read? No. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that, so don't worry, because <laughs> that takes 25 oh, minutes. I'm but glad you we, are. <laughs> we are going to do something with tarot cards. And um, the tarot is nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's not something that's taboo or scary. Uh, that's, once again, Hollywood wants you to perceive it that way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a little uh, demonstration with some tarot cards, and we're going to play upon th the three aspects of life that I call choice, chance, and destiny. There are p people who believe that from the time they're born to the time they die, everything is pre-arranged and planned, and that's fate. Mm -hmm. Everything that happens to you or because of you, it was predetermined. Then there are other people who believe that's not true. Everything yeah. we do is No, I our believe own. the first version. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of a in between mm -hmm. both, where mm -hmm. sometimes things no. happen to you because you make them happen. But we're going to have a little bit of fun. Now, Mia, I have a little bit of a, a mystery in here. For all intents and purposes, no, just a little pouch. I don't know if we can see that on camera. Just a tiny yes, little we pouch. Can see it. Okay, we're going to put that right here on the table. And I guess we should probably explain what these are. These are the major arcana of the uh, tarot cards. There's only 22 cards in the major arcana, and they're all different. Uh, hopefully, we can see this on camera. They all have different directions, different meanings, they're very spiritual. Um, but they're also very fun. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to do something. Basically, you're going to take the cards like this and start dealing them into a pile, just like that. Okay? 
you want me to do that? I'm going to have you do everything. Okay. Yes, you're doing all the work. It's I'm your show. Okay, <laughs> you're going to do oh, everything. No, it's not, <laughs> Are you right or left-handed? All right. All right. Okay. So hold, hold this in your. Uh, I guess for you would be your left hand. Okay. There you uh, go. What am I doing? And Just you're going to start it. putting cards down one at a time in a pile. Can I do it faster? Uh, you can do it at your own speed, and there's 22 cards, and you can 22. stop whenever you like. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stop sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes, whenever or your heart's desire. Do you want me to stop at the end? You can, you can stop anytime you like. Okay, now. Right there? Okay, yep. perfect. We're going to just keep that there. I'll take the remaining cards. These are the cards that were um, undealt. Yeah. So they now become the path that you travel on. Okay? It's just a little path. I'm going to give you these cards right back. And you went about halfway, back in your left hand, I guess, or you, if you're left hand, yeah. you're going to hold them like that again. Okay. And now, you're going to do the same thing, Mia, but this time, mm -hmm. I want you to make a little fork in the road. Here's our path, and I want you to deal cards here and here, into two, two? piles. Yep, two different piles. Beside the... Uh, yep, yeah, one here and one here would be great, because we have a nice uh, little boundary. And remember, we're only using the cards that you dealt with. These ones were undealt, okay. so they do not, uh, they don't matter. Perfect. All right. Now, there's two, uh, two paths. We're calling that a fork in the road. So up until now, this was choice. What you're going to do now is chance. Can you take both your hands and place them on top of each pile? Okay. Perfect. So we're going to discover chance now. Some people might say it's 50-50. Mia, would you slowly raise either hand, one hand only? Perfect. That's good. It was very uncomfortable. What was it? Oh, okay, yeah, I suppose it might have been. So you're left with this one here. Mm -hmm. That's good. That now becomes our destiny. But before we look, we should probably examine what's inside. And what about my right hand? Uh, you're going to keep it there because I don't want you to think I'm doing anything. <laughs> However, if you take your other hand, it's free. Oh, we need a little help there. What do I get? What is that? It's a sun. It is a sun. Yeah. Actually, the sun, if we can have a little close That's up of that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is Love the it. most powerful yeah. uh, force in nature. Mm -hmm. It gives us life, it gives us hope, it keeps us alive. Mm -hmm. You have the sun. Mia, could you please uh, remove the top card of your pile, the one you ended up with? And what do you have? I really don't know. What does it say at the bottom? What does it say? Sun. The sun. The sun. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's have a I didn't see the bottom. It's right there. I, I'd say Mia did very well here. We have the see, sun. See, without any preparation. I can do it any time. And people ask me all the time, well, are the other cards the sun? Of course I, not. I just wanted to. They're all different. However, are you curious to see what would happen had you picked the other pile? Can I? It's up to you. You don't have to. I want to. Oh my goodness. May I? That would have been a foolish decision. But of course, Mia is no fool. I'm the sun. She. I'm the sun. Is the sun. That is. And that's also the most powerful card okay. in tarot. I know you are not going to explain this to me because nobody ever. How do you do this? It's a lot of psychology. Uh, it's a lot of. Um, it's it's basically. You and I sitting down and having a little experiment with nothing more than some pieces of cardboard. And you do all the work, basically. So, thank goodness you did it right, because I would have looked very foolish. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I'd like to take the credit, but you did all the work. And uh, I don't mind working. Tony, can we carry on the, after the break? Because I have absolutely. other questions. I have so This was great. Uh, uh, Tony, Chris, and I will be back after a minute or so. The Mia Show is sponsored by the following people. Recording, rehearsal space, voiceovers, video editing in U.S. Minster. For more information, fiascobros.com. Cuts and colors in Uptown U.S. Minster. We welcome our stylist, George of Salon Caliente. For appointment, call 604-544-5104. Private investigations, security and alarm systems since 1972. For more information, call 604-251-2121.
makeup services for television, movie, and photo shoots. For more information, visit victoriawan.com. We're back with Tony Chris, uh, paranormal entertainer. I forgot to mention, but you've seen it on the screen. Uh, Tony Chris Magic.com is his website. Right. Tony, um, tons of questions on my list. So uh, I know that you have uh, different uh, performers, performances, in the corporate, private. Do you perform for children? Do you Absolutely, have children? yes. So how, how are the chil children as audience? The children are great uh, as audience members. Right? You, you know, there's a certain age group where they become very uh, jaded as well. <laughs> the 9 to 11 age, um, they become a little bit too cool. But uh, primarily I perform for um, anywhere from ages 3 through 10. And I have an alternate uh, ego or personality called Zany Zack, which is my children's character. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a cross between um, the Mad Hatter, um, a, a circus ringmaster, a magician, all thrown into one. It's kind of a lovable little character. And very carefree and just fun to be around with. And uh, yeah, a lot of my performances are at children's mm -hmm. festivals and birthday parties and that sort of thing. I know that uh, to be an entertainer in a show business that puts you a little as an outsider from the rest of society that's happened to most of us. We are as not many know. times understood and we don't understand many times what the rest of the world yeah. is going on. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you find yourself uh, with the rest of the social life? Um, Actually, I'm very shy outside of the performance arena. I, I don't do well in, in uh, you might think I would, but I don't. Um, I don't have a lot to offer that a lot of people, I think, Why would. Why would you say that? Because I'm inherently quite shy, and I have been throughout my whole life. I was terribly shy as maybe a kid. It's, maybe it's time to think different, don't you think? I think so. You'd yeah. think I'd figure it out after 47 years. Um, I, I, that's, why I, I think, why I got into acting as well, mm -hmm. because it allows you to, to take a different um, direction and, and be somebody else. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, talking about entertainment, because, uh, you know, I'm coming from the same field, and yes. uh, I like music, and I know you like the music. You, we met on one of our musical performances. Yes, your when, musical performance. Musical performances when we're doing ABBA. By the way, hopefully you will find time. Same though, this is announcement for um, all of you. If we can do that, uh, ABBA time will be opening act for Songs of Sinatra, uh, Rick Valiant in December. I know it's far from now, but December 12th, Sinatra would be uh, 100. And we are just wow. doing this beautiful presentation at Columbia Theatre in New Westminster. So. I'll, no, remind I'll, I'll, I'll remind you that. I'll definitely be there. I was at the last one. I'm and not I know, miss it. yeah, and I know that you, you, you're a musician as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and I also know about you, and not from you, but from uh, your Facebook page, that you do a lot of. You've been in, in a lot of movies. I saw in the last few months. Yeah, uh, I try to. Yeah, I try to get around. Uh, How do you get into this? Do you have agent? Uh, mostly independent films these days. Uh, mm -hmm. Vancouver. We're, we're very lucky to live here. Vancouver, yeah. as you know. Uh, it's just, it's a mecca for, for filming yeah. in uh, Hollywood North. That's what we are. So, so okay, so, um, you know, you, why, why, do, why do I talk? I just would like to see the images because I know you send me some pictures. I have a few questions about sure, a few of yeah. them. Like, for I example, most this one. Oh, yes. Uh, that's from a film called DTS Therapy. Who are, uh, you, are, you don't look very healthy there. No, I'm pretty unstable in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, spent quite a while before that shoot I, I like researching that and uh, I yeah. played a crazy person. Uh, this was a gothic um, bad guy in another movie Do you play called The Magic ever? Show. <laughs> You'd think I would. I'm, I'm, seeing, I, I'm that's doing what more. I would. I'm doing more of the villains so. lately. Here's another villain role. Uh, that's my buddy Jim. We were playing devils. You know Jim. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, we were playing uh, devil's guardians of a river and having our way and fun with um, the people who happened to cross the river. It was a fun shoot, actually. Oh, uh, I won uh, an award here for the Society of American Magicians, our local chapter here in town. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that's our president, Lon Mandrake, who is the son of the famous Mandrake the Magician. Oh, wow. Yes, and he's local as well, and I was very honored to receive that award. Right. This is where I was performing in the Pacific Coast Association of Magicians uh, International Magic Competition, doing one of my favorite magic uh, pieces called The Sands of Persia, and I was lucky enough to pull off a gold medal that year for this Ooh, performance, so I'm wow. very happy. Look at you, you have uh, This is in... Victoria, I believe, 
floating a table with someone from the audience. I believe and that was you who were doing it. <laughs> I don't know. She seemed to be doing quite well on herself, but maybe she, maybe I had a small hand in it. You know, it when the, when do you remember the first picture you uh, you were t telling me that you uh, play disturbed person? Oh, I yes, just yeah. like that expression on your face. Who is uh, uh, training or teaching you those expressions? How do you put yourself in that you know that mood? I think it's a lot easier to play a role when you're angry or if you're a disturbed person uh, on film, of course. Really? than it is to play more of a, a, a dramatic or comedy role. I find comedy very difficult for me sometimes, but it's just easier for me to get into that role of um, Isn't melancholy, it, perhaps. Shouldn't, it has to do probably with your personality. I know you are, you have that inner sadness, sorry to say that, but I find, uh, find sometimes, sometimes when I talk to you, but at the same time, you always exhale that positive energy. So right. how, what's the recipe? It's, it's a, quite a scale to balance. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of it does come from my personal life, and I won't get into that too much, but I, I, I do no, have... I, I want to, because uh, yeah, okay. you mentioned that you are okay. I, I don't usually discuss personal lives, if ever, with my guests. It's not the purpose of the show, right. uh, unless somebody wants, and I know that you are encouraging me. And the only reason I know you want to do this for a, just briefly, because it did, it does influence or affect your 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 professional life. Yes. yes. So, just tell me briefly what life you you're dealing with on a daily basis. Uh, well, I have two children, both born with autism spectrum disorder or autism as we as we refer to it. And um, for any parent to have a child with special needs or a certain uh, um, special disabilities is quite a challenge, and it, and it, it impacts you daily, every day. And you double that with two, it impacts you even more. Yeah. So yeah, it, it just overflows into who I am. And then obviously it brought you the spirituality and everything, and it's and it's influencing your you, yeah. but you said in a positive way. Right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It, it opened me up to a world that I never thought I would need to know about, but I'm mm -hmm. so happy that I do now. Uh, because I'm, I'm very blessed, my wife and I are. We have our challenges, obviously, mm -hmm. and so do our children. Um, but I would not turn the hands of the clock back in any way, oh, shape, or that. form, because they would yeah. be completely different people if they weren't who they are. And I know you told me that the beginnings were not very easy for you. Right. And uh, I'm sure you were getting a lot of advice, but it's so easy for other people to tell you how to look at life. Yes. It's easier for us. People want to help. Yeah, Inherently, I people, I think, are, are good. They have a good heart. They mean well. And this did it um, also affect your magic or work? Uh, it's funny you mention that. Yeah, um, it, my music especially. That's when I got into recording children's yeah. music CDs mm -hmm. because of my children, and I started to see the world through their eyes. Wow. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. I was trying to lean towards again the magic because I think this would be a time. You said that you can you can demonstrate. A new one, something what we haven't seen. Yeah, Can there's we do something that now? I've been working on. It's funny you mentioned time, actually. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting that you mentioned. I don't that. want to rush you. I know that your your mind works differently, but we'll have some fun, uh, and I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Time. That's really interesting that you would mention that mm -hmm. because we are going to be doing something with time. Good. Yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, now, in the paranormal world, there are a lot of uh, factors that are very important. There's a number that's very significant. Do you know what that might be? Number? No. I'll give you a hint. 13. Most people think of it as an unlucky number. To me, it's lucky. To me, it's very lucky as well. Actually, you have 13 episodes uh, in your season. That's oh. right. And the first time when I flew to Canada, I chose the Friday 13. I to chose fly. it, yeah, and most you won't believe it. My don't. seat was 13, and when I asked how many hours it's going to take to get here, they told me 13 hours. So. Okay, now that, that's just weird <laughs> and good at Thanks. the same time. I like that. Yeah. 13, let's find out. Mm -hmm. You know what? We have some cards. These are actually quite old, as you can see. Yeah. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And 13. We're going to get to this in just a moment, but first, Mia, we're going to make um, we're going to make some little random piles here. Actually, what I'm going to do is separate these cards into three different piles. Now, there's 13 cards, so they would never be even. Some people use these to tell time. We're going to use this watch to tell the future okay. in a fun way. 
So Mia, what I'm going to have you do is hold the watch, or the pocket watch, and you're going to just swing it across the, the three piles just like this. And at any time you want, you just stop on one of the piles like that. It could be that one, this one, okay. or that one. Why do you always make it so difficult for me? That it's so oh, far you can do this. You. You're a pro. <laughs> yeah. But don't, okay, don't make I'm it random. It. I want you to actually decide which one you feel you need to stop on. I already know which one I'm going to stop. It's going to be right here. Then go for it. The middle pile? Yes. The middle pile. Okay. Can I go away with that? Uh, yeah. Uh, we all no, know I mean, you picked the middle, correct? Yeah. Yes, all right. I did. What made you go for that? I don't know. I like it. It was just um, an arbitrary yeah, choice in your mind, it, yes. or you just yes. decided mm -hmm. that's the one you wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. So before we look at what kind of mysteries we have there, let's look at these ones. You didn't pick these ones. This has one, two, three, four cards. No okay. big deal. Doesn't mean anything. This one over here has one, two, three cards. Mm -hmm. But you didn't pick that one either. You picked this one, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Okay. Mia, on the pocket watch, at the very top, you'll see a little, a little nib or a button. Could you press that? It should release the, uh, the, the lid of the watch. And it's just on the very top. That's the bottom. OK. Yeah, oh, swing, yeah. swing it the other way. Let me help. Yeah, can you please? Right here. You're going to still do all the work. Oh, press that. that one down. Now, I should tell you, this hasn't worked in about 10 years, this watch, but it's set at a time. <laughs> what, what is the time? Six. That's interesting. I, I have and you picked to the say. pile with six cards. Uh, but well, it gets a little weirder because you picked the middle pile, and somehow I had a feeling <laughs> that Mia okay. will choose this is the middle pile. For me. <laughs> Are you freaked out yet? Well, no, I understand when you are preparing your magic when you work by yourself, but how can you prepare the magic when you're not going to be with somebody who you don't know what they're doing? Inherently, you have to be able to control the outcome of all factors when you're uh, a magician or an entertainer. You have to be prepared for things that sometimes don't go right. Uh, some magicians have even lost their lives that way. Nothing is foolproof in magic. Lost their lives. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. Tony, TonyChrisMagic.com is a very interesting site. That's how I found uh, Tony last year. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Tony, you, you remember this? Oh, do I ever. Oh, this is a different yes. cup. This is a different cup. Your signature is, okay. needs to be Let's, there as well. Thank you, Come mate. It'll be thank my you, Tony. pleasure. We'll see you again sometimes. And thank you very much for watching VML. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>